Hello, welcome everyone. We are here with our well-known FACET electronics training system. Today, we will demonstrate an exciting new capability of combining FACET workstations to communicate with each other using a CAN bus network. The application synchronizes the FACET microcontroller boards to control traffic lights on a major boulevard. The application is simulated on a tech -to screen app. Let's have a look at our setup. We have two facet base units, each equipped with a microcontroller board. In addition, our PIC microcontroller boards are equipped with the CAN bus solution, which allows networking of up to four workstations. CAN bus is a popular network protocol used in a wide variety of applications, such as automotive and industrial controls. It allows for fast data transfer between small numbers of devices on a local network. In this exercise, we will transfer a pedestrian request for crossing from one station to the other. Next to it, we have TechToScreen, the new connected learning solution from Festo Didactic. TechToScreen can be used to drive learning content, as well as for several applications including measurements, output control, and simulation. Here, we will use the traffic light simulation. Our PIC Micro is programmed using Flowcode, a user-friendly visual programming environment. We are currently using version 7 of this software. Our CAN bus solution comes as an add-on kit to the microcontroller board. The solution includes four CAN node circuit boards, one for each micro C, and ties them together in a fully bi-directional peer-to-peer network. A CAN bus analyzer and a message generator are also supplied with the solution. We are using the included CAN bus macros. They include all the needed header files and are presented with defined fillable fields. A configuration menu is displayed and the default configuration will get you started quickly. This allows students to focus on information flow and programming strategy without getting bogged down in programming and syntax. As students gain experience and knowledge, they can move on to coding in C or assembly based on the provided exercise manual and examples. Back to our setup. Let's activate our tech to screen traffic light simulation. The I.O. of each microcontroller is connected to its tech to screen connect. The data of each controller is transferred via the network. In this case, a pedestrian request at one intersection is used to stop traffic at both intersections. So we will need to exchange three bytes of data. The request is sent from the iPad to the controller input via the cables. This signal is processed by the controller to trigger a send message instruction to the network. The message is pedestrian request. An LED on the controller indicates that the request is sent. The other controller then replies with an acknowledge message. When both intersection sequences reach their next red light, their sequence is stopped, stopping both flows of traffic, and a pedestrian time message is exchanged between the controllers. Once both controller data bytes are set to ON, the pedestrians at both intersections get the light to cross. After a delay, the sequences are resumed, the data is reset, and traffic continues normally. If you want to learn more about what you just viewed, be sure to contact us. Thanks for watching.